Hi, my name is Jaden Joel, and today I'd like to tell you a really uh, interesting story about uh, my spiritual evolution. Um, when I moved to Vancouver from Tokyo to begin my dedicating myself sp to my spiritual work completely, I um, did various different uh, modalities, learning Reiki and healing touch and many other things. But amongst others, I also heard of a woman who could read the Akashic Records. And um, I was really interested then to know if this was really my uh, purpose in life to do this spiritual work. <clears throat> so I paid for a reading and uh, ordered it. And um, after a week, she phoned back and said, um, well, very interesting, Jaden. I was wondering why you didn't do this yourself. And I said, well, because I have no idea how to do that. And uh, she said, well, when she went to the Akashic Records, the guardian said, well, actually, why isn't he here himself? Because he can read these records just as well as you can. And um, she said, so I just told them that um, indeed he had ordered the reading through me and uh, therefore um, I've come to do the reading for him. And they said, okay, well, this is the last time we'll allow anyone into his records because from now on he should come and read them himself. So she proceeded to tell me what she had found out and um, that was all very confirming and everything else. But the most intriguing thing, of course, was that uh, these guardians had said that I should go there myself and read my own records. <clears throat> so... Assuming that she was correct, I thought, well, if I can do that, then let's um, see what, how that goes and everything. So from my work with the 17 chakra system, system um, the 17 chakra system, I um, had an idea of the different levels of moving upwards through your soul energy through the various gateways and finally reaching the great central sun or the source or father and mother God. And I also knew that the Akashic records were somewhere around the great central sun. So I sat down and I played a soft music and lit a candle and said a prayer and then closed my eyes and went into an altered state of consciousness and traveled in my consciousness and awareness up through the various gateways, up through the soul star, the stellar gateway, the intergalactic portal, up through the Christ consciousness, and finally arrived <clears throat> at um, the great central sun with all these golden energies around it, which indeed I had imagined to be the Akashic Records. And sure enough, there were four gateways with Enoch and Methuselah and Melchizedek, and I happened to enter through the gateway of the Ancient of Days. As I approached, I was a little bit nervous because I thought, well, <laughs> maybe she was wrong and they'll send me back. But uh, indeed, he said, welcome and um, enter. And um, we're glad to see that you finally come. So I entered through this gateway of the Ancient of Days. And there are guardians that guard these records so that um, people just can't go and uh, read other people's records and things like that unless they've given their permission. So I went through the gateway and um, it seemed to me to be like a big library with all of these rooms. And in all of the rooms, there were like bookshelves with crystal tablets on them. And so I just continued to walk until I feel, felt guided to enter one of these chambers. And, um, and having entered that chamber, I went along these shelves looking at all these different crystalline tablets, you know, like bricks of clear crystal that had names on them and dates and things, until I finally found um, those records of my own with my own birth date on them. And so I took that crystal tablet down and put it on a table and sat in front of it and called my soul essence to um, come forward and um, reveal itself to me.
And amazingly enough, this kind of smoke or mist started to rise from this crystal tablet and formed into a beautiful angelic figure of um, rainbow colors with lots of pink and aquamarine and silvery pearlescent white energy. And all of this love poured down upon me and it felt as if this angelic being had reached out and put its arms or wings around me and held me in a very safe and very protective space and everything. And in, at the beginning, I was so overwhelmed by the love and the beauty of this energy that um, I had forgotten to ask any questions or uh, anything like that. So I just um, bathed for a while in that love and in that beauty and in that exquisite energy of my soul. And I suddenly realized that um, all of the questions that I could have had at the time um, sort of uh, were being answered in, in this loving, caring way. It was almost like affirming that everything that I am um, is okay. Is, is I'm perfect just the way I am and that everything that I planned to do or wanted to do was fine. And so I left and um, thanked my soul energy. It returned into the tablet and I put the tablet back and, and traveled very, very slowly back. And as I was traveling back, I realized or remembered that somewhere along the way, I had had a similar experience where I had traveled under the High Council of uh, Law in Orion and that I had uh, received the nine symbols of Camelot and and um, when I was traveling back I was told to travel back very very slowly so that I could integrate everything that I had uh, experienced um, and received from the High Council of Law. And so I realized that I was doing the same thing intuitively by traveling back very, very slowly. So I moved back through the Christed energies, back through the intergalactic gateway, across the Milky Way galaxy, the stellar gateway with the Great Mother, and back through the Soul Star and into my body. And so it gave me a lot of confidence, it gave me a lot of trust in my soul, in myself, and was a really positive experience. Later, um, I was um, hosting a workshop for Norma Milanovic, who does amazing readings that have um, helped me a lot on my spiritual path. And she was coming to Vancouver and she also always did readings when she came to Vancouver. But this time, she said she would have no time to do readings for people. She would do readings for me and the people that were organizing the workshop uh, for her but uh, she would have no time to do the readings for other people. And there was a lot of people um, wanting to have a reading. And so I felt bad for these people. And I sort of asked the universe, why had all these people signed up for a reading and, um, and she wasn't able to do it? So um, the answer I got from the universe was, because you're supposed to do them. You can do interdimensional readings just as well as anyone else. And so I was again surprised, but from the experience I'd had before, I sort of thought, well, if the universe is telling me I can do this, I must be able to do it. And so I asked a friend of mine to be a guinea pig, and I did an interdimensional uh, soul reading for her which was amazing. It was a beautiful, awesome experience because again, I went into the Akashic Records, I found her uh, crystal tablet and records and um, the soul came forth and spoke through me to her and um, shared everything with her that she um, needed to know or feel or experience at that time. And that's how the soul readings began. And um, it's a, a short 
story when I tell it, but it was certainly a process for me. And over the years, the soul readings have certainly um, evolved and changed um, and become more powerful and everything else like that. But um, that's how it all started. And I thought I would just share that with you today. Namaste.